so i created a budget friendly deck which revolves around persian and asper and paragli so let's look at the deck profile we have got four glamia four paragli four meow four of our persian and it has got gathering of the cats ability and our pokemon will be able to do attacks without attaching any energy i have got one litten four esper two of our mew one oricorio it has got dance of tribute ability so if our pokemon gets knocked out we can draw three more cards one am manaphy so that we can switch the active pokemon to the bench and then we can use the esper's attack ear kinesis attack which will do like uh, if a pokemon has 60 damage to itself then ear kinesis will do 120 damage so twice the damage it will do so it's good to like uh like fight good to like like damage any pokemon that we need to like uh this uh, like eliminate so it is a really good card two escape pro four quick ball four level ball two ordinary rod four of our pokemon communication four quick ball four three bosses orders four bruno two marni four professors research two u-turn board and three capture energy and one recycle energy so we are not heavily reliant on energy cards we only play four energy cards our main line consists of 25 pokemon and 31 trainers so let's look at some of the matches that i played the first matchup we have got ourselves mew in the active position we have got mew we have got esper we have got paragli we have got persian in our hand so as you can see like opponent has chosen to go first so let's see what he does so let's see let's see and this is a gengar deck which had alakazam for some weird reason i don't know why but it's okay we were able to show what the deck is capable of just look at it it's got alakazam i was thinking that it was an alakazam deck build but after seeing that using the quick ball he grabbed it, grabs himself gengar and mimikyu and so that's why i found out that it was a gengar and mimikyu deck so let's see how we combat against this deck so he discards his stuff using dead na and we don't need any stadium so we're in a good position so let's just grab ourselves glamia for the next turn so let's just put down the glamia let's just put down the meowth and let's just pass because we have got all the resources that we require i can evolve the meowth the next turn around i can attack with glamia with paragli and it attack does 120 damage and we don't require energy so that is really good for us so let's see let's see what he's gonna do what you gonna do he puts away another gengar and he's gonna use giovanni's exile so i don't know what he is doing he just discards gengar and his dead nail just like that using giovanni's exile what you gonna do what you gonna do dude what you gonna do so we have got level ball so let's just evolve the paragli and we cannot grab ourselves Persian with the level ball because it has 100 HP. So that's okay. So let's just grab Asper or Glamia for the next turn. So let's just grab, put down the Glamia. Glamia. Let's just do Claw Slash. Okay. And with that, we get ourselves capture energy from the price trade okay no problem no problem what you gonna do what you gonna do gengar and mimic you mimic you mimic you what you gonna do what are you going to grab yourself from the quick ball he's throwing away a lot of the resources that he require he's gonna grab himself dead so he's not getting what he requires i think he's not getting the energy he's Using the surprise block, I'm thinking that he's going to use Horror House GX attack. So let's see. So he can grab himself Pokecom, okay. 
let's see what you're going to do what you're gonna do what you're gonna do so he throws away he could have used the turbo patch to grab, grab himself the energy but i think turbo patch grabs the energy okay so this is a mew and mew to deck i was thinking that it was gengar and mimikyu for some reason because he was using gengar and mimikyu a plus he had alakazam on the bench so he grabs him some giovanni's exile well, i don't know what he's doing i don't know what he's doing so let's see what you're gonna do even if he does use what is this called what's it called horror house okay he was using politic guys okay no problem so he doesn't use horror house gx i was thinking that he was going to use horror house so we grab ourselves one more position so we are in a good position let's put down the glamia let's just let's just use the claw slash attack on this guy and we do 120 damage that's good good enough we are already in lead with the one energy so let's see what he's going to do what you're gonna do what you're gonna do what you're gonna do he played delhi stupidly he should have used mute and mu i don't know what he's gonna do so so he puts promotes glamio in the tip position okay horror house surprise box sorry he's going to use politic guys so he puts down level ball okay okay level ball and with level ball we can't even grab ourselves per ugly so he uses horror house gx okay no problem so we can just use boiling boy boing boing tail with that we can still damage it with 60 damage because we can use attack freely so let's see what he's going to do Attack call what you're gonna grab, my friend. But you so he grabs in the Sinlin, Cynthia and Caitlin. Okay, I don't know what this guy is doing. Whatever, okay. What you're gonna grab with Cynthia and Caitlin? He's not praying. Okay, boss's orders. Okay, he grabs his boss's orders. Okay, he's just playing like a stupid guy. I don't know what he's doing. What you're doing. What you, what you doing? What you what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Are you going to attack or are you going to what you gonna do, my friend? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? So he discards all this energy and he gets head on the turbo patch. Okay, another heads. Okay, another head. So he attaches to Blessephlon and Alakazam. Okay, so we have got lot of stuff in our hands so he's gonna eliminate the glammy meow glammy meow meow and glammy meow okay so he uses mind ruler for 240 damage okay okay so let's just promote our potion and let's just evolve our glammy out of paragli i think i'm gonna grab myself esper so let's just put down the spur. Let's just use capture energy and grab ourselves another esper. So so he gives us the dub. So that was a good match. And let's look at the second match. And in this matchup, we are going up against the Mewtwo deck. Mewtwo deck with Victini. And we are going second. So let's just see what he's going to do sorry we, we are going first in this matchup and mu2 and mu gx is in the active position and let's see so he grabs himself giant heart so he throws away the boss and we are in a good position because we have got two meowth on our bench even if he knocks down one meowth we will be able to use persian next time around so i think he's gonna eliminate the glammy out glammy out this was a really good match even though we had some tough moments it was a really good match so he discards heat ran so 
thing is going to use the searing storm so he puts big teeny bee in the on the bench spot so he's going to use steaming storm and he does 130 damage to our glamiao okay glamiao meow meow so let's just put down the spur let's just use our bruno bhaiya and let's just with the level ball let's grab ourselves what should we grab let's grab ourselves glamio let's put down the glamio and let's just put down the esper let's just evolve our let's just retreat into our glamio and uh we were good enough we are in a decent in a position let's just put back the glamio in our deck and let's just use point boing tail for 60 damage okay okay i could have played a better but that's okay that's okay yeah i could have played better could have put the esper in the active position could have used and he has got to be teeny v max okay so what you gonna do my friend what you gonna do what you gonna do big teeny v max big teeny v max and he has got weakness guard energy so that he can combat the water type so he's gonna attack our potion it's steaming stomp okay not a bad play on our opponent's part so let's just put down the clammy out so okay Let's just rod up, rod up our Meowth and Persian. So let's just outruse our Bruno. What else can we do? So let's just put down the Glamio. Let's grab ourselves Meowth. With that, let's just put down the Meowth. And let's just use the Fat Cat, Paragli. Lost Lash and do 120 damage. Okay, okay. What you gonna do, my fat cat friend? What you gonna do? So he's using the Cherish Ball. He grabs into Charizard GX. Okay, okay. What you gonna do? Discard the Charizard GX. Okay, so he discards Mewtwo. Lot of resources. He discards Charizard GX. And what? you're gonna do what you're gonna do so he attaches to victini okay 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 not a problem so he grabs himself boss with that play so he's gonna boss up my potion okay not a bad play on your part going up going against my potion so let's just Let's just see what he does with that. Let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. Let's just promote the me out because we can evolve into our, what is this called, Persian. It was a misclick on my part. I should have evolved Esper, but that's okay. Let's just retreat into our Esper and let's just Bruno, Bruno. So with that, I grab myself a Paragli, so I'm going to evolve the Paragli and let's just do ear kinesis and just like that, I eliminate the Mewtwo and Mew GX. And now we need to deal with that stupid Victini, that fat fat Victini, Victini Kaika. We have to deal with that Victini in order to win this matchup and he discards Charizard and Rashiram and Dardenne he grabs himself and he's gonna switch into that Victini. So let's look at whatever resources he's using. What you gonna do my friend? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I gonna do my friend. What you gonna do? How are you gonna do, my friend? What you gonna do?
Okay, so you're gonna grab himself potion. So for one turn I can't attack because we don't have any energy so and we don't have any me out. So I was thinking of just bossing up that what is that called dead NA to waste a turn and let's just grab ourselves one more of those me out so he can't go up against our boss so let's just shuffle up our deck and for some reason because he had the giant heart he grabbed himself the energy and he was able to switch and we are in far away in the pie trade the prize prizes and he just needs one prize card to win after eliminating the esper so we had to put down at least two poisons which could have easily made this matchup a real, little bit easier for us and let's see let's see what you're gonna do so he discards a lot of resources with that he's he gonna grab himself another boss what you gonna do okay welder okay 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 quick ball okay victini 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 this was a weird deck like mewtwo and victini i've never seen mewtwo and victini so he does max victory okay okay so even if i do anything i will still lose so this was a tough like matchup he just needs one prize card and he's gonna win and even though we like lost this matchup like because we can't get one prize card can we so i tried to just stall with using whirlpool section because why not just let's just put down let's just use slash and let's see what she gonna do what you can do and he had sorry welder in his active spot so even if we do anything so he grabs himself attaches so he's gonna just use float up so he's gonna go back into the shuffle back into the deck and with that I can't win I can't just win this matchup so let's just do what we can and let's just discard away all the resources we, if we had if I had benched two meowths and two versions and this would matchup would have been easier and I could have gotten the victory but it is sometimes it happens it was a close matchup so with that we get the loss as he uses max victory so we get defeated so let's look at another match this was a really small match and this was a really small match which we were going up against i think eternatus because spirit tomb was in active position and Let's see, let's see, because Spiritomb is in active position, I was thinking that it was like probably Eternatus because most of the time Eternatus plays it like Spirit Tomb. so Glamiao with level ball and let's just pass I suppose, I'll just say hello to him and let's just pass, let's see what he's gonna do. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? So he has Jirachi. So I've never seen Jirachi in any kind of this build actually. I think then it is a fire type build, but why is he using Spirit Tomb? It was really weird deck to comprehend for me. He had Spirit Tomb and he has Psychic Energy, but like Jirachi is in plain in the so I think it's the spirit tomb deck because he has grabbed himself 
स्पाइट टोम स्पाइट माइथ स्टेडियम सो लेट सी लेट सी लेट सी वॉट सी कैन डू वॉट यू कैन डू वॉट यू कैन डू लुक है क्विक बॉल थ्रोज अवे दिस कार्ड्स दी रिसर्च एंड ग्रैब अनदर स्पिरिट टोम नाउ इट्स क्लियर दिस स्पिरिट टोम डेक सो let's just let's just bruno away most of the cards we only need one card okay we don't grab ourselves the card that we require so let's just use scatter day no draw a card what can we do we can't do anything we can use money the next turn around so let's just pull well, pull suction or Let's just use scatter day, scatter day. So with that, I grab myself boss. So not a decent enough play. So let's see, let's see. So he has put down the stadium. He has scooped up the Jirachi. I don't know what he's doing with the spirit tomb deck, spirit tomb. So he gives us the victory. So let's look at the next match, and. and this is the eternatus deck and with that i have got glamio in the active position and i grab myself with the quick ball i grab myself i'm just looking at the cards that are required so we have got ourselves enough resources that require so let's just grab the meow Because it's better to grab the me out, so that we can use poison the next time around. So let's just bench, let's just capture, and let's just put down the me out. This was my thinking as well. So let's just put down another me out. Oh, let's just pass then. Let's see, let's see. So he has got the battle in the active position. So. He uses six goon to ping me with ten damage. Let's see what you're gonna do. So he's gonna use derail. Okay, derail me. So we are not in a hurry or anything. So let's just grab ourselves the Persian that we require, and let's just evolve our. or to me call it paragly and let's just use claw slash so we just eliminate the avital so we grab ourselves one recycle energy from that prize card and he has put the zigzagoon in the active position what you going to do my friend what you going to do 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 What you gonna do, my friend? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I don't know what you gonna do. He's sorry. She is gonna do. It's actually a girl. We Vixian. I don't know how it's pronounced. Vixian. Vixian. He's taking. She's taking a long time. So I think I'm going to get the dub because she. I don't think she has got any. And I throw the angry emoji because. Angered that she was taking so long time, so I think I'm going to get the dub. So he's gonna, she's gonna research, and if my calculations are correct, so I, with that I get the victory. And Drew try out uh, try out this deck. This is a really budget friendly deck, which is really fun to play with, and you can easily like combat against some of the top standard decks. and like and subscribe the video and do mention in the comments any queries that you might have and thanks for watching see you next time bye